Mupi Lan Observation Committee condemns BJP Mahila Morcha for giving political tone to Nupi Lan Day observance and demands clarification in five days. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurates third PSC oxygen plant, SBI branch and other facilities at Janims on its 14th Foundation Day. Manipur reports 16 new COVID-19 cases, 9 recoveries and 2 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.25%. And India adds 7,145 COVID-19 cases, 8,706 recoveries and 289 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.38%. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance. And I'm Premi Thangjum bringing you the news and details. Nupi Lan Observation Committee condemned BJP Mahila Morcha for giving a political tone to Nupi Lan Day Observation and demanded clarification within five days. Nupi Lan Observation Committee demanded BJP Mahila Morcha to clarify within five days why the photos of BJP leaders were used during the 82nd Nupi Lan Memorial Day observance on December 12th. Joint Students Coordinating Committee and Nupilan Observation Committee called a joint press conference at Wahang Bamlai Kai Lairin Bilairak in Imphal West today. Speaking to media, advisor of Nupilan Observation Committee, Long Jam Mim Chobi said, There is nothing wrong for BJP Mahila Morcha to observe Nupilal Day, but making the observance a political affair by unfurling BJP flakes and putting up photos of BJP leaders are unacceptable. Pilanda, <laughs> BJP ki phiran thisin dana aduga BJP ki leader sing mayam ki photo hapse lakanda pangthok pirak pa sina ai koi sing na wari bu nik sing jari ba yam na sing na tau jaba ima sing gi mafam da di yam na nungai ta ba penja da ba thoram ma mani ki nupi lan bu politics da sing sin bi ga nu manga ni gi manung da la le hai na sing to kataba ni Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Janims Imphal, held 14th Foundation Day celebration at the hospital auditorium today. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurated the third PSA oxygen plant of Janims, a CT scan ultrasound machine, an SBI branch in the hospital premises, and launched e-office of Janims website and inventory management system on the occasion. Speaking at the event, Chief Minister N. Birin stressed on the need for both mental and physical well-being for a better society. He said, state government priorities on improving health and education sectors in Manipur and accordingly, the government is striving to increase the number of seat intakes for medical students at Janims. He added that government has initiated opening of a cancer hospital under PPP model in Manipur. The Chief Minister appreciated doctors, nurses and health workers for their tireless service in fighting COVID-19 pandemic. Prizes were distributed to students toppers of Janems in university examination. Top ranking officials of Janems, doctors, medical students, teaching and non-teaching staff joined the celebration. <laughs> PPP model the with private partner with the cancer hospital hanger kadore ata ita infrastructure machineries may have said masi boeing na ekoi sophisticated to the machineries in through csr matin pange the man yang kono kolari i'm happy with him thabuk phajana do awar pa yenga kanitori 
And directors do well. Uje takar machine yang wale. Uje ke takar koi 300 move MPC itu le kau ni. Soon lah tu malay. Advertisement pi kau ni. Ado yang wale koi ni se. Population ni yang kelai. Ado ki koi life global change, climate change, environment change. Bayam sana makal makal ni lainah pandemik. Chat chat itu le. Uje ke move Nabi COVID adharan sih, emang mula itu ni. Aduh nasi apa ini manipul? Masih mui opsi lah di happy gay apa? Already we have started checking the vulnerable points like airport, lagi ZD, lagi mau lagi. Aduh sih siapa yang tu dobel section dobel? Chief Minister Nong Thom Bambirain once again claimed that the ruling government has restored peace and harmony in the state. He was speaking at the one-day political conference organized by BJP Hyang Lam Mandal at Langmai Dong Public Ground today. Works Minister Thongam Biswajit, Rajya Sabha MP Laisem Basana Chauba, BJP Manipur President A. Sarda, Hyanglam MLA Dr. Waira Deshyam, BJP MLAs and workers attended the event. Chief Minister Birin mentioned about Go to Village and Go to Hills mission and said these missions aim to enhance public government ties to bring progress in the state. Makal makagi, tahu apa yang baik baik, kono jadi, aduhna punu maksa. Biji biji, maya anda bot bibir anda ada di nasi ayna, aku ini fangai beri ward, mana pura santi lady ba, ima ibi alisa alisa sena ahing masa masuk kolor gigi untuk hamun untuk tumbuh fangjadi ba, ahing tengah halat apa dah, ni pai ba pokri ba, si ki pur maya am saya, lagi ramu yang hijab ini hijab beri, aduhna makata na. Aduk mah BJP, amat dimagi. Loi nampak singgi, kerajaan, amak kata nampak amat terkait tay. Faedah ni faham di BJP kat tengi orang tu nampak paham mana. Aduk tu, maya amat pipir dia. Bas, lagi bas, si sana awam gini. Union Minister of State for External Affairs and Education, Dr. R.K. Ranjan, assured that central government is making efforts to provide best of the best education facility in the country. Addressing the Golden Jubilee celebrations of Bethany Christian Higher Secondary School at Baijang in Churchanpur District today, Dr. R.K. Ranjan said that a new education policy of India will boost children's learning skills, among others. Ex DGP LM Kaute also attended the event, which was held amid shutdown called by Atsum, KSO, GSO, HSA, and YPA. Community may have no Punjalaga Lariba, Manipurda, Nasidi, Mamanga Palamba Sarkar Singh, Mamanga Lariba Government Singh Aduna, Aikoi, Singa Masung Tangi Manaba Mieng Yang Banga Mundaba, Luinana. Singi lam singi, satu nasingi, praja singi, kungang singi, praja singi, tengnari ba awa ba karino, makoi na pami ba karino, hai bagi development ki wakal mangda, sanksen bagi mahuta, masha masha ki raih tigi, masha ki khudung jabal lau na na ba hona ba kaya taurum buduna macet macet kai ba ya bagi film lerami. Twelve hours total shutdown in Manipur's hill districts called by all tribal students union Manipur from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. today failed to have any impact in Tamenglong Churchanpur, None and other hill districts. Shops were opened, traffic movement was normal and many events were held. It may be mentioned that Atsam had called the total shutdown pressing demand for introduction of ADC Bill 2021 recommended by Hill Areas Committee in the Assembly session. Ruling government's public outreach program to avail various welfare schemes of center and state government was held at Galngam Lendol Ground in Moray, Tengnopal District today. Speaking on the occasion, United Affairs and Sports Minister Lee Pao Hauke was short of efforts to reduce frisking operation being carried out by armies from Moray Town to Imphal when it comes to legal transportation of consumer products. In other days, the previous government people saw running a pillar to post for getting one scheme. But uh, now the new government, we are delivering the beneficiary to their doorstep. And we are looking forward to take 138 crore people with development, new hope, new horizon, and will bring India to the new standard of level. And we'll compete the world developed country, India will become more developed on human oriented projects and human oriented development. 
Taking part in the event, Education Minister Sorokai Bamrajin claimed that BJP government has enhanced ties between hills and valley people. Altogether, 39 government stalls were opened during the program attended by Agriculture Minister Olukoy, Deputy Speaker K. Robindro, and Lilong MLA Y. Antas. Wheelchairs, health cards, cooking gas sets, and winter crop seeds were distributed to beneficiaries at the program. National President of Janata Dal United, Rajiv Ranjan Singh, claimed that it would be impossible to form a new government in Manipur without GDU after the 12th State Assembly election. He said, GDU aims to hold IMC and ADC election within a year and to repeal AFSFA. He was speaking at the mega election to assembly held at Hapta Kangjaibung in Imphal, organized by JDU Manipur State Unit today. He criticized the BJP government for not providing minimum support prices to farmers and for failing to improve road infrastructure, empower women and harness the talents of youths in the state. Rajiv Ranjan Singh also criticized Manipur government for failure in proper utilization of mineral resources found in the state and for delaying the construction of National Sports University due to lack of commitment. Municipal Council, hai, District Board Council, hai, uska chunao nahi ho ra. Kyao nahi chunao ra? Why you are not doing the election? Why you are not handing over the power to the people's representatives of the people's? No, it has decentralized. 2014 mein kaha kya? Ke sports university ki banai hai. Aas ta kaha bana? Kaun sa sports university Manipur mein bana? Nahi bana. क्यों नहीं बना इसलिए कि सरकार का कमिटमेंट नहीं है सरकार का कमिटमेंट नौजवानों के प्रति नहीं है नौजवानों में जो खेल कूद और स्पोर्ट्स के प्रति लगाव है आकर्षण है जो उनमें प्रतिभा है उस प्रतिभा का इस्तेमाल नहीं अगर आपका समर्थन सपोर्ट मिलेगा आपका समर्थन मिलेगा और जो मणिपुर में कोई भी सरकार जब जनता दल यूनाइटेड के समर्थन से बनेगी स्पोर्ट्स का विकास पहली प्राथमिकता होगी जनता दल यूनाइटेड की दैट स्पोर्ट्स विल बी डेवलप्ड इन मानी मणिपुर और जनता दल यूनाइटेड यह इंश्योर करेगी कि यहाँ के किसानों को उचित मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस मिले उनके उत्पादन का कृषि के उत्पादन का उचित मुआवजा मिले Speaking at the meet, JDU Manipur State Unit President Hankabau Taito claimed that at least seven to eight JDU candidates will win in the upcoming election. Citing the example of Bihar under its Chief Minister come JDU National Leader Nitish Kumar, he assured of bringing development in Manipur in a short period of time. Arunachal Pradesh JDU President Ruhi Tagung, JDU National General Secretary Harsh Vardhan and Top office bearers of JDU Manipur State Unit took part in a mega election assembly. Scheme number one, extremely backward class welfare development, women empowerment, Bihar administrative reform, backward class welfare, Sidur class and Sidur tribe welfare and development, Sikki Masida, a Koyika Mangadaba, Mayadaba, Moina implement over the Koyasu Sidur class, Sidur tribe, minority self delay, otherwise, for Kodom effective for the the Directorate of Environment and Climate Change held a consultation workshop on finalization of state action plan on climate change version at Classic Grant today. The workshop aimed to build a state action plan for climate change in association with various district forests and biodiversity, water resources, health and agriculture and eats allied department officials. Subject experts, Manipur University scholars, CAU, NIT Manipur and ICAR officials attending the event gave inputs for the action plan. Professor N. H. Ravindranath from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, who interacted with attendees on climate change reporting, delivered a presentation on global climate change policy downscale at sub-national level. Likewise, 
Center for Study of Science, Technology and Policy, Bangalore. Principal Research Scientist Dr. Indu K. Murthy delivered his presentation on Climate Change Vulnerability Assessment on Human Health in Manipur. Senior journalist and media fellow recipients on climate change reporting in Manipur took part in the event. Uh, action plan C, Yamdrava the device action plan, Jacob December is the pro final chapter Poraga, Quay State Government Kiva, the Murica Minister Lauren in a canary, Aduga Masi sector among Giva, Yano Maric Sumba project among Yam important project among the Quay sector Marisigo project, Maria Quay proposed to Gavigi plan the Quay Akan Sanction later at December is the Quenel Lucian Mogadi Quay Government Kapro Lauraga, State Government Kapro Lauraga, Central Government of Quay Missi, Han of Quay Akan Honor later. Two-day job fair organized by Din Dayal Upadhyay Gramin Kaushalya Yojana concluded at Hotel Infa today. DDU GKY organized the job fair under the aegis of Manipur Livelihood Mission. Different companies put up stalls providing job placement opportunities during the fair. Narang dagi ngasi bawatan umi nini koi job fair 2020-21 si pangtok cawai maram di ngasai gi job seeker me ama learner learner recruiter me ama si makoi na job thi riba masung job seeker thi me ama si ke platform ama kaksi ama hai tarai makoi na job loss me ama itu oga thame madu da makoi na apa amba job tu khala kanda the counter the registration toraga dagi muk interview jang kanda selection toraga makoi si offer letter ngasi makoi adu mian tok cawai closing function loi ramda ipa wada makoi na offer letter pi gi si more than 50 hena pi gre registration loi wasi ngi loi na ba continue toraga one day workshop on standardization of organic products and food processing in Manipur was held at a conference hall of horticulture and soil conservation department in Sanjin Thong today. Manipur Organic Mission Agency and Apunba Imagi Macha Singh Manipur jointly organized the event. MoMA Member Secretary Hani Chara, ex Health Services Additional Director, Dr. S. Manikanta, ex MU Political Science Department, Head Professor Rajin Laishram, Chief Scientist of CSIR, CFTRI Mysore, Dr. N.G. Iboyaima, Senior Principal Scientist of CSIR, NEIST, Manipur, Dr. Huidrom Birkumar, Ames Manipur President, Mayang Lambam Kelendra, ex MU Vice Chancellor Professor Amar Yumnam, and officials of farmer producers, companies attend that the event. Manipur added 16 new confirmed cases of COVID 19 out of 1,620 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Today's COVID 19. Positivity rate stands at 0.98%. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room, total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 1,25,613. Active cases are 203. Two COVID patients from Imphal West died in the past 24 hours. Dead toll stands at 1,995. Only nine recoveries were reported in the past 24 hours. Total recovered cases are 1,23,415. Manipur's recovery rate stands at 98.25%. On the note, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring in updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. Notice that Han Boy na RBI na regulate over Amazon Ministry of Finance Department of Financial Services Government of India na Surface Egg 2000 to Gimakada Financial Institution Amo in a second Kraba. Pradhan Mantri Awas Yosna Housing for All Missing Gimakada subsidized home loan P with the Manjil Tariba. Pantoibi Housing Finance Company Limited Amadi Masigi Sister Company Singi Gohati on a branch around the Hanguk Chari. Chahi Tarataret ki Kongcha Talakraba Pantoibi Housing Finance Company Limited to Gim Yamna Financial Facilities in Lowil and Abandoning Singjari. Pantoibi Housing Finance Company Limited and its sisters company.
Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. India added 7,145 fresh COVID-19 cases, 8,706 recoveries and 289 deaths in past 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cases stands at 84,565. Total recovered cases have reached 3 crore 41 lakh 71,471 and recovery rate stands at 98.38 percent that toll has reached 4 lakh 77,158 over 136 crore 66 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far globally coronavirus has infected above 27 crore 40 lakh 79,000 people above 53 lakh 63,000 People have died and recoveries are above 24 crore, 60 lakh, 63,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 1 crore, 3 lakh, 9,000 in the world, followed by Brazil and India. Public Health Engineering Department notifies that water supply will be affected in Lamsang areas covered by Langjing Reservoir, Tera, Iroisimba, Uripok, Lamphil, Nagamapal, Paunabzar, Sagolban, Salam Lekai, Wahing Bamlaikai, Bapupara and Kaisamthong Kabuikul till December 21st or until repair of the main pipeline is completed. Chief Functionary of Holistic Vista Substance Use Disorders Treatment Center named Timcha Karong Sapam Lalit was conferred Honorary Kosa Doctorate Award by Kingdom of Tonga Commonwealth Vocational University. Lalit was selected for the award along with others from diverse fields from across the nation. The award was handed over to Lalit during the university's convocation held recently at Hotel Radisson in New Delhi. Governor Laganeshan extended greetings to the people of Manipur on the birth anniversary of the first Chief Minister of Manipur and freedom fighter Mahirimbam Koiring. In his message, Laganeshan urged the present generation to follow ideologies of the late leader and underlined that the state ought to commemorate his birth anniversary with due respect. Manipur-based interior design and architecture firm Huidrom Design Studio backed honorary mansion award in best exhibition design category of the Singapore Interior Design Convention 2021 Future World Design Preneurship Plus Sustainability. The award was distributed from Singapore's Sangrila Hotel online yesterday. Huidrom Shuris had earlier backed India's Best Design Award 2021, India Glorious Architecture and Interior 2020. Blackwater BC vaccination drive for cattle and domesticated animals has been carried out at villages in Ising Thembi and Ising Thembi in Kundrakpam constituency as preventive measures against the spread of blackwater disease. Vaccination drive was held under the initiative of an in intending candidate of Kundrakpam assembly constituency in Langbam Sobit. After remaining shut for nearly a month because of air pollution, the physical classes in Delhi school resumed for class 6 and above from today. However, classes were held in a hybrid mode, both physical and online. The move comes after commission of air quality management in national capital region and adjoining areas allowed the resumption of physical classes. The commission has also directed the Delhi government to take decision for resumption of physical classes for students up to standard 5 from December 27th, duly considering the air quality index and the winter vacation scheduled. Punjab Lok Congress Chief Captain Amarinder Singh has announced his party's alliance with the Bharatiya Janata Party for 2022 assembly polls in Punjab. He announced the decision after meeting Union Minister Gajendra Singh Sekhawat, who is also in charge of Punjab BJP. After meeting Sekhawat, Amarinder Singh said that the alliance was confirmed. The election in Punjab is expected to be held in February, March next year along with Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Manipur and Goa. And in sports news, MPSC Team B defeated MPSC Team A by 11-4 to win the first Infal West District Polo Tournament held at Kulin Lampak, Awang Potsangbam today. 
13 polo teams participated in the tournament held under the aegis of Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association. Potsangbam Gram Panchayat Pradhan H. Mangi, Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, Vice President and Tombiraj and Association officials attended the event where winning teams were felicitated. <coughs> Former Minister Dr. R. K. Latan Kumar has felicitated the winners of the SI Ocean Cadets and Junior Championships 2021 held from December 2 to 5th at Lebanon. The program was held at Labour Mayai Lambi Sports Academy in Mayang Imphal. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. R. K. Latan Kumar said it is high time to convert sports department and art and culture department into major departments. HEI Football Academy Hangang clinched the 5A side football champion title by defeating Ningtham Football Academy Kairang in a tiebreaker score of 3 2 in the final match played last evening in Nongmai Bung, Bung Ground in Imphal. Nongmai Bung Youth Organization organized a football tournament for 35kg category boys taking part in the closing ceremony, intending candidate of Wangkai constituency. Pangjam Arun Kumar handed over the winner's trophy and cash reward to HEI Football Academy Hangang. Former manager of Neroka FC, come coach of Manipur football team, Gift Rai Khan, NYO president, and others attend at the closing event. Nasishu, Ekoki Manipuna, India level, the football, the dominant Togu Chali, Hojuji Sanariba, I sell the Su Kimanipudagi, Manipuri Macham, Yamama Yauri, I lit the Su Ekoki Manipudagi, Manipur Macham, Yamama Yauri, Adugayamna, Lak Liba, Hokiba, Chehi Manga, Chida, Manipurian football, Vilam, the home of Malaki, Haragati, Ekoki, Manipuri Timojeriba, Neroka FC, Yamasung. I lit the qualified with the national level, Sanzer Pokamapa, Machina Maram Murkanda, Akogi, London City Putoba, Anan Sinsi, Makogi, Lambima, Yapi, the Paikari. Medalist of the fifth Indian Taekwondo in Action Open International Taekwondo Championship from Pakangba Taekwondo Academy, Tingom Lakai, were felicitated at Sagolban Tingom Lakai Community Hall today. 15 players from Pakangba Taekwondo Academy representing Team India clinched 5 gold medals, 6 silver medals and 2 bronze medals in the online championship held from November 26 till November 28. IMC Ward No. 10 Cooperator Estikin, YWC President T. Bocha, Secretary T. H. Brojin, Community Hall Management Committee President K. Imoba and Secretary K. Tombi attended the event where winners received medal and certificates. Speaking on the occasion, PCA Chief Coach L. Meghaparna stressed on the need for Taekwondo masters to equip with themselves with new techniques and for parents to give consistent support for their words. <laughs> Twelfth Amfa Senior Women's League in, will begin from December 20th at the artificial turf ground in Lamlong, Tong Kong, under the aegis of All Manipur Football Association. Press release from Amfa informs that Isu Wangkai, YWC Langtabal, ICSA Ringban, Kripsa Naram Thong, MPAC, and WFA Kakching are competing in the league matches to find a spot in the Indian Women League. India defeated Pakistan in 3 1 in yesterday's match of the ongoing Asian Champions. Hockey Trophy 2021 held at Bangladesh, Dhaka. For the winners, Harman Preet secured two goals at 9th and 53rd minutes and Akandi needed 
One goal at 42nd minute. For the losing team, Manzoor secured the lone goal at the 45th minute. India will play against Japan on December 19th. North East United FC defeated East Bengal FC 2-0 in yesterday's match of the ongoing hero Indian Super League ISL 2021-2022 at Goa's Fatorda Stadium. For the winners, VP Suhair and Patrick Floatman scored one goal each to add 68 and 68 minutes. A match between Chennai in FC and Odisha is underway at Goa's Tilak Medan since 7.30 p.m. while Goa will face Hyderabad at GMC Athletic Stadium at 9.30 p.m. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. The Pilan Observation Committee condemns BJP Mahila Mocha for giving political tone to Nupilan Observation Day and demands clarification in five days. Chief Minister N. Birin inaugurates third PSA oxygen plant SBI branch and other facilities at Genems on its 14th Foundation Day. Manipur reports 16 new COVID-19 cases, 9 recoveries and 2 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.25%. And India adds 7,145 COVID-19 cases, 8,706 recoveries and 289 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.38%. And that's all we have in this edition of the English Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipur Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Till then, good night. Stay indoors and stay safe. Taisam Tong Kendra ki oina Langpok Lakpam Jayanti Kumar Singha ki miting makada kwa kathil nga na pitong mapal da layba Ibem Sana Tailoring House na ka ahum ki oiba embroidery, tailoring, wood knitting, mosquito net stitching ki oiba free training course pangtuk jagadawri Hira masida interest layba miwai sing na Taisam Tong Kendra ki Honorable MLA Langpok Lakpam Jayanti Kumar Singha Ward No. 12 IMC ki haana ki cooperator post sangbam ombi Premila Devi ki yumda ki natraga kangabam Ibem Sana Devi, Proprietor Ibem Sana Tailoring House, Kwakatel Nana Pitong Mapal, near SWC Club Taki, Form Lovira Bat Yaragani, Akupa Marol Gitamag, 7005438121, da contact the view. Kangan Java, Infal Municipal Corporation, Kitongan Tonganba, what Kunga Tareta, Denam Skim Gimakada Sam Kiba, self help.